Should we get going? Hey guys, welcome to uh, Jam 65. I'm Oscar, uh, area design lead at uh, RIM, Malmo, Sweden. And I'm here to talk to you about the BlackBerry visual style and show you some sneak peeks of the graphics. So let's start with uh, some of the background to um, what the visual style is today. When developing this new look and feel, uh, we've been looking at what worked on uh, our previous platforms. We do have a strong legacy and good knowledge on how we're perceived. And the key thing developing this new style has been to embrace the good things in that. But the immediate feel should always be that the user knows that uh, it's a BlackBerry experience they're holding in their hands. We are human professionals, uh, not robots or polished pieces of plastic. Uh, the BB10 visual style is all about conveying our design tenets. Uh, along with the background, the visual style should speak for and translate to uh, flow, uh, cinematic experience, efficiency, and content is king but also visually show that we're human with some uh, moments of charm. So what is flow visually? It's about um, emphasizing the interaction and naturally guide users with the help of graphics. Cinematics, cinematic experience kind of speaks for itself, but it's more about showing off the graphics full screen. Efficiency, make things easy to read, recognizable, but also minding structure and uh, uh, information density. Content is king, reducing clutter and noise that catches unnecessary attention. So for the overall look, uh, we want a, a professional and, and well-defined look, kind of uh, James Bond, if you think about it. The priority has been on uh, developing the rules for the platform uh, to achieve a common ground for application to, to start from, build up from. So that doesn't mean that applications can explore skeuomorphic design, for example, uh, but we've chosen not to pursue that path, instead focus on, on consistency and functionality. So um, I'd like to share some, some building blocks uh, that we're applying to our apps uh, with using the tenants as a foundation. <coughs> so users expect a certain function or feature to uh, behave in a certain way. And this is a big deal when it comes to, to the visual design. Controls should act and behave uh, in, a, in a suitable manner uh, that helps with efficiency and the flow. And aligning all those uh, graphics in the controls uh, using the same treatment, the same shapes, is uh, key to make the UI easy to understand. Colors, uh, we're using neutral background colors uh, in our design with uh, a brighter accent color to it. Uh, we're striving for using um, uh, true colors, as we call it, which is uh, colors that you can put a name to, like snow white or, or uh, sky blue, for example. Not mixing them, creating difficult ones as uh, blue green, purple, pink, things like that. And for the real estate on our screens, the, the backgrounds serve uh, up to 80%, and the accent ones, it's about 20%. We're also using a traffic light metaphor for uh, uh, functional colors uh, to, to highlight certain uh, information that needs more attention to it. 
So is the UI dark or bright? Well, we support both, uh, but we're never mixing it. It boils down to what type of content is best suitable for either theme. Rich media, for example, like uh, images, videos, cover art, or big thumbnails kind of thrive in, in a darker surrounding. So uh, uh, it's, um, it's up to the content to, to decide which theme is most appropriate. Like text, on the other hand, uh, from rich media, is more legible on a, on a brighter background. <coughs> so the light theme is more appropriate for messaging applications where the content is monochromatic and the emphasis is on legibility, like uh, composing or, or reading. And iconography plays a big part in, in the visual style and has been a big thing for BlackBerry for, for a long, long time. We're looking at icons as uh, guiding imagery that's supposed to help and speed up the, the flow. So we pursued a pictogram style to it, rather than photorealistic, which speaks more to what we want to achieve with uh, BlackBerry 10. And pictograms are a simplified, simplified version of a real-world object, but also sometimes needs to be more abstract, like, for example, uh, what does internet look like? So the, the meaning, the metaphor, and the silhouette of the icon becomes uh, extremely important. So keeping, keeping icons easy to read is done by uh, applying a high enough level of details for the intended use of it, but also simple enough to be readable when just glancing at it. A uh, good exercise to test this is to blur it out, and it should still show uh, what it's supposed to mean. So we're keeping icons in 2D, not over-decorating it with, uh, with effects and different styles, and always keeping them facing the viewer. A uh, good source for inspiration is uh, airport signs and uh, subway signage, for example. If it's easy to find your way in, in these places, it's probably because the signs are good. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if they're bad, you're probably going to get quite uh, irritated and you might just not end up uh, in San Francisco. Something else to think about on icons is uh, maintaining an equal balance, because in UI we have a lot of icons displayed in groups or at the same time. So we're using a focal area, as we call it. It's a smaller rectangle within the file size, and most of the uh, shape should stay within that. Also, we're keeping icons single-colored uh, to avoid more focus areas to a single icon uh, if there's not a strong function that needs more attention. That function could uh, also break out from this focal area to highlight the importance. So for the system font, we're using uh, Slate, Slate Pro. Uh, Slate Pro was uh, created by Rod McDonald is an award-winning typeface designer, uh, Canadian. Uh, he's participated in a research project uh, held by the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. So it's, um, it's good. Uh, there he learned uh, the design traits, uh, which is best suitable for uh, maximizing character legibility and, and readability, which is shown in the Slate family. It's a humanistic font, a uh, humanistic sans font, which suits our BlackBerry 10 tenants very well. And to the grid. 
we're adjusting all information and visual elements to a well-defined grid. Doing this, we can ensure that uh, there's enough space for touch targets and that items align, which makes a screen easier to read. All information is important, just not equally important. So we're using layout, text size, and text weight to help reinforce hierarchy on a page. So we want our users to quickly recognize and uh, navigate these hierarchies. Therefore, we're not for over-decorating again or random placing elements on screen. Rather have an orderly and un unfussy approach to it. Along with the grid, white space and padding around text becomes equally important. So our users, we know that our users process a lot of information. So we want to make sure that information is legible and presented in an ergonomic way. And white space helps our eyes navigate these screens, both quicker and uh, for a longer period of time. It's a performance issue, really. And uh, we just want to make sure we have the best legibility experience out there. So back to icons, uh, application size icons this time. Um, we're using real world metaphors, but also abstractions. The ambition is to only provide the, the level of details so the user knows what the application does, even if they've never used it before. And there are num numerous uh, elements that across the design that we can help unify the, the icons as a family, like the paper curls, for example, on, on the paper metaphor, which we're using across. Or it could be done with, with uh, using our colors, for example. <coughs> so let's have a look at um, what could happen when we're combining the visual style with intuitive interaction and uh, with our building blocks. Uh, along with, with the tenants as a backbone to it. So this is a good example of, of uh, visual design and interaction design working together to create a better and faster experience. The notion of layering uh, emphasizes uh, the visual affordance on elements that are interactive. And in this case, you can sneak peek an image just taken without leaving the shoot mode. But we also want to keep the users informed with the help of graphics. Uh, for example, the competition today on the smartphones are um, displaying only one or even none image at all for an email, for example. We, on the other hand, want to keep, want to make sure the user can just glance at a list and directly know if it has attachments, if it's threaded, if it's, yeah, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's also about information density, but in this small space. And uh, we want to mind the attention to details without going skeuomorphic bananas. Uh, as I said before, we're more focused on consistency and, uh, and uh, functionality. So intuitive interaction can be accompanied, accompanied with, uh, with visual affordance to, uh, to let the user know if, it's, if a control is draggable or just clickable. And in US today, uh, interaction becomes more and more about motion and directional transitions. Uh, without creating these 3D full screen transitions, 
uh, we can use subtle motion to secure a static UI. This way it becomes just friendlier and nicer to use. <coughs> and also adding that little extra that might not be noticeable at first, but once you do notice it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, this is uh, a radio button that the motion follows where you have pressed before. So, uh, well, as you know, good design is, is tested and iterated over and over again. Uh, what's hot today might not be the, the awesome thing tomorrow, uh, but we're working with visual design to make it contemporary and uh, professional and to meet our design tenets. But uh, the ultimate test is, of course, uh, when it hits the shelves. So uh, time flies when you have a good time. Uh, here you can find more information and specs about the visual style. Um, do you guys have any questions for me from a visual point of view? If I have Photoshop templates, uh, not that. Oh, sorry, not at the moment, but it's it's coming. Yeah, <coughs> that's the plan. Yeah. That's uh, not at the moment. Uh, the discussion is up there, and uh, we'll figure something out. Um, well, I mean, uh, we have guidelines for creating our type of icons. Sure, but the BlackBerry applications use special icons for special actions, and it would be nice to have things available for our own applications as well. I totally agree. Okay, um, default font sizes. Uh, in Cascades, for example, we, we do support five or six different sizes, along with weights, along with, with all that. Uh, for WebWorks, um, I must say I'm not sure. Um, but we are providing uh, guidance on, on uh, fonts as well on, on the developer side. That's another good question. Um, I have to get back to you on that. Anything else? All right. Uh, well, anyway, I'll be running down the corridors for the rest of the week, so if there is anything, just uh, poke me and I'll try to answer your questions or just say hi if you want. Thank you.